right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. As he steps towards his cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. All right, here he is, the reigning defending undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Of course, the target is on his back. All eyes are on this man tonight as he tries to make good on yet another title defense. He has owned this division for some time. The question is, as the challenges get stiffer, can he remain the hunted? Several championship fights to his credit, a lot of 25-minute wars. As he gets older, the challenges get stiffer. We'll see how he handles this one tonight. The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters, 29 years of age. And they both possess a similar height and reach. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment U.S. fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 19 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Justin, the highlight game chain. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 27 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. This, this has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in because it's about to go down to right now. Ready. Ready. Scheduled for five rounds if need be. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. that punch. Good defense there. Effective punch there by Numago Man. And really nice job to finish the takedown there. Oh, and he connects there. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Gaethje. 
beautiful elbow there. That was a hard elbow there by the champion. Full guard. Grabs a hold of the wrist, pins it down from here. He's looking for the Kimura. He wants to wrap his arm around the back of his He popped out of the Kimura. In the full guard here. Big punch from the bottom. He's posturing up here. He's got the arm trapped of his opponent. Good defense. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Big body punch. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He's in full guard here. Just over three minutes to go. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. Side control again. And lands a good shot. Excellent movement here on the ground. He's back into side control here. Inside control, tying up that arm, looking for the Kimura. And he escaped the Kimura. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Nermago Meta. And they separate. Oh, oh God, a big oh, right hand. This, oh, this could be it. In half guard position. Here he is back in the clinch. Battle for position here. Knee to the body here in the clinch, Joe. And now he's got that tight clinch. And separate. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. He's really starting to connect, Joe, on a lot of these strikes to the midsection. Another shot. Marco Meto gets the double leg takedown. Nice job there, disguising his entry. Showing some good defense here, trapping that arm. What a brilliant pass. Right into Mount. Excellent job. Fighters back to their feet here. And he's looking for that left. Nice punch by Gaethje. Nurmagomedov gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Oh, well done there, Joe, as he catches the kick. All right, so yet another takedown here. He has taken this fight to the ground, really, every time he has tried to do so. He would tell everybody before the fight, that's my game plan. I don't think he can stop my shot. And largely, that's exactly how it's Looks like he's trying to get tonight. an Americana here. And he got it out. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. He lands a huge elbow to the head. Half guard here. Excellent posture. 20 seconds left. And now into full guard. Final seconds here. Full mount. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Oh, Second round, straight ahead. Here we see some high-level striking. Great accuracy on that punch. Here's a powerful punch that devastates. Here's a perfectly placed leg kick. We've really got a chance to see some awesome action in that round. You can probably feel that eye starting to swell. You don't want it to close up on you. Brittany Palmer is here, as always.
Round two on the way. This is gonna become one of those things where you're just wondering what's what's the opponent gonna be able to do to him. Not even whether or not he's gonna win, but what's his opponent gonna be able to do to him? Oh, that off gets caught with that punch. How about that chin? Trying to get a single. Roman Gabetov has this takedown dialed in. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He's back to side control. He's got to move. He's in the Mount of Crucifix now. Holding him here, moving to north-south position. He's looking for the Kimura. Got a very good Kimura. He might get a finish here. That Kimura looks nasty, and he's free. Beautiful left hand there. He's got his back. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He's back to full mount again. He postures into place. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Buck. Big shot from the bottom. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. He's going to try to take the back, I think. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Gaethje. Tries to pass from full guard to half guard, but can't. Nice takedown. Down to three minutes now to go on the round. Excellent movement here on the ground. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Back to side control. Big punch from the bottom. He's trying to take the back here. He's got the back and he's locked both hooks in. Looking for the rear naked choke. Looks like he's got it now. He rolls on. He's got it under the chin now. He's trying to go palm to palm. That rear naked choke was close, but he's out. And they're down on the ground. Inside the guard, right away. Oh, he got reversed. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Under two minutes to go in the round. Well, he's been on his back here, but he's actually doing some pretty effective work. Joe lands a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done there by Gaethje. Moves to full guard. Good punch. Got him in the full guard here, and he's landing some brutal strikes. He's working from full mount again. Lands a good shot from the bottom. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Into side control again. And busy as he looks to improve position here. And look at that, he's up. Arnold the met off with another takedown. back to his feet. Nicely done. Nermago Medov's able to get the underhook here. All right, bud, come on. And they separate. Another takedown attempt here. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Beautiful hammer fist. Excellent movement here on the ground. He's now working from side control again. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. 10 seconds. Tags him with the left hand. Now he's in half guard, full mount. 
And that's the end of round number two. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round. And here we see some beautiful submission offense here. Here we see a devastating shot landed on the ground. And there's some devastating judo. Ariane Celeste in the building as usual. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Gaethje gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. And now he's in north-south. He's looking to take the back. He's moved back into side control. Working from the mounted crucifix. Making all these shots count. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Controlling north-south again. Look out for that arm. He's got his arm pinned down. That arm looks locked to me. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Outstanding. We'll do it. Beautiful technique setting it up and a beautiful job in getting that submission. Yeah, that is high level stuff out of him there, Joe, to finish the submission. It's one thing to get the dominant position. It's another thing to close the show. And he certainly did that here tonight. That's a big one. And here's the end. And here we can see it again. Beautiful technique here on this Kimura. Perfectly applied for the tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there he is, folks, the UFC lightweight champion. And Joe, he figured to beat any 155er in the world here tonight as clean a performance as he could have turned in. And ultimately, he gets the win by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, six seconds of the third round. To claim the winner by tap out and still the Well, many argue it's the UFC's toughest weight class. It's one of the more difficult belts to defend, but he certainly did just that here tonight. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your winner by submission, and now...